There are many times when we are writing programs that we would like to get access to other programs or parts of other programs. In Python, these collections of programs that we can access are called modules. Some programming languages call these libraries. The module is simply a way to provide additional functionality for a programmer. Some modules, such as the math module, are part of the default Python distribution. Other modules, such as the C turtle module or the C image module, have to be added to the environment by the programmer. What we would like to do here is simply take a look at how you use a module, how you can access the information that's contained within the module, and how you make sure that that module is available for use through what's called an import. For this example, I think we'll simply use one of the more common modules, and that is the math module. But all modules work the same. So in order to use the math module, the first thing you have to do is tell the Python environment that you would like to bring that module or bring that math library into your programming environment. And the way you do that is very simple. You use what's called an import statement. Import and then the name of the module. In this case, it's the math module. Once you've done that import, notice that nothing was returned because the result of the import statement is to simply make that connection between your environment and now that external module. If we evaluate the name math, notice that it tells us that math is, in this case, on my uh, Mac OS, part of, the, um, part of the framework for the Python programming environment. This would come up differently depending upon the operating system that you're using, but it says that it is a module. Now, inside of this module, there are a number of different functions that we can use. Um, square root, sine, cosine. And in order to use one of these functions, all we have to do is say, within the math module, and then dot, I would like to use, and let's say square root. So math dot square root says, in the math module, I want to access the square root function and then I have the provided information. These are called parameters to the function. So I can say I'd like to provide, find the square root and I maybe 64. So in parentheses I put 64, which is a parameter or the argument to that function. When I hit return, the square root function takes the value 64 and returns 8 as the square root. And of course I can do that again. I can say what is the square root of 100 and it's going to tell me 10. I can say, what is the square root of 34.6? And you can see it's a precise floating point number. So the concept of math as a module and square root as a function, and then an argument to that function to be able to actually do the evaluation, provides us with a lot of power because the square root function now that's part of that module is something that we don't necessarily know the details about, but we can bring that module in and make use of it. If I evaluate math.square root without providing any additional information, notice that it tells me that it is a function that is built into this module. What if I'm unsure what kinds of functions might be available within a particular module? Well, it turns out that there's a very nice system that I can use called the help system. And I can say help, and then I can give it the name of the module, in this case math. And when I hit return, what's going to happen is I'm going to get a list of all of the things that are contained within that module. And so if I go all the way back up here to the top, you can see that it says that this is a module providing mathematical functions. You can see the arc cosine, the arc sine, tangent, some trigonometry type functions, uh, ceiling, 
degrees, radians and degrees, conversions, factorial, all kinds of different things. And if we look for farther enough down here, we can see the square root function that we were using right here. Square root returns the square root of the value that I give it. And so the help system is very useful because it provides me with a way to sort of query the module and find out what's contained within it. Notice also in this case that there are two constants that are part of the module, the constant e and the constant pi. So for example, if I said math.pi, that's not a function, that's actually a number, and it would return in this case the value of pi. All modules work the same way in that you first have to import the module, and once you import the module, then you can use the functions or the data that are provided within.